Hi, everybody. I'm Mel Dor, the Aloha Shirt Psychic, and I've got Linda G in the house. Hey, everybody. I just got noticed that uh, apparently from pg and because they're calling us all the time, which is good. It's better than that huge fire where nobody said nothing. And they're letting us know they're doing rolling power outages, which they did yesterday, too. But based on my block, it looks like today I'm safe. You're safe. Um, you know, we had a power outage here, and of course, our internet was out. So that's why I told everybody we couldn't do the show. I guess I could have slept to my office, but I don't know if it'd be out there or not. But our power was out for a long time. Damn. I don't know what happened, but but at least PG&E calls you. ComEd doesn't call anybody. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, no. I, all those people died in their sleep because nobody could get a hold of anybody. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, and it, the fire just, it was that huge. The first one, the first one. But listen, I was telling everybody it was 122 degrees yesterday at this time of day. Right now it's 112, which is nice, comfortable. But I got I got a a a hummingbird fighting over the where they take their drink. He won't let anybody else come in. He's just a wee thing. My so one. I my had one. to get out after I did my readings today. I had to go to the car and drive down to the hardware store and buy another feeder because I looked it up and apparently there are bully. They can be really mean to each other. I wouldn't let the other ones have a sip. Well, guess what? Now you'll probably get another feeder and you'll put it up there and there'll be another hummingbird. Coming. I hope not. And then I have another one coming in from Amazon tomorrow. So I have three feeders. Uh, I love hummingbirds, but uh, oh, I love them too. And there's different, you know, like redhead. But listen, when I was out there, all of a sudden I could smell bacon. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's too hot for me. That sun on my ass. I can smell bacon. It's time <laughs> to go. You know, I started getting, I started watching that Medea, Tyler Perry, Medea. I've never watched that before. And it's I funny. caught one. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. And there's this one part I thought was hysterical. Tell me what you think. So Uncle Joe says to Medina, damn, Medina, you big. You hella big. You're big. You're as big as a refrigerator. And she's sitting there looking at him. I thought she'd pull out her gun or something, you know. She said, you know what, Joe, I'm going to tell you something right now. That's the what those are the words you'll never hear from a woman. <laughs> you got to go on YouTube and watch this thing called my cousin Vinny. Or is it, I love it. I own it. Yeah. Or my uncle Vinny. Oh, my God. It's a riot. Mm -hmm. It is really funny. Your Honor, these two youths. <laughs> my, youths. No, no, no. What's no, the house no. of youth? No, not the movie, but it's like a cartoon thing. It's not a cartoon, but it's something about Uncle Vinny, my Uncle Vinny. And it's really funny. Oh, I'll have to watch it. Oh, I pee my pants when I see it. I really do. It's really hysterical. Did you pee your pee your JC Penny underwears? I certainly did, y'all. Had to get me a had to get me a pull-up on because I was laughing so hard. Oh my God. And it's called Uncle Vinny. Okay. It's yeah. a series or something? No, he's just a comedian. And he, I don't know, he distorts his face. So he comes up with all these different characters. And, you know, he's an Italian American. And it reminds me of my Italian family. It's, just, yeah. You oh, know, my funny. Italian family, it's not, would you please, my Italian family is not, where's the cannolis? Yo, where's the friggin' cannoli? <laughs> Except they don't say friggin', they say something else. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. wild. You got to watch it. Uh, anyway, I've got a lot of questions. How about you? Yay, yay. All right. Now, you, tell, you do your questions. All right. Uh, Danina Bennett, I like this. She goes, when will we get serious about planting trees in this country? Nebraska is tearing them out fast. Um, what do you mean, turning them out fast? I guess they're cutting them down. No, why? I don't know. Uh, but... You know, the arborist, uh, the, there's the Arbor Arbor Day, and I see a lot more trees being planted. The tree behind you, I've shown you that before, is an ash tree, an Asian ash. <laughs> Asian. <laughs> that was a slip. Asian ash borer. <laughs> tree. How His, old do you think it is? This tree? Oh, it's got to be 50 years old or more. Um, and the, the all the ash trees were dying, and so... One year, this one had a beautiful canopy, and the next, I thought something's wrong with this tree. And my neighbor's got an ash tree by his house, and he said it's ash borer. 
So we called the, 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 guy, the horticulturist or whatever. And he said, well, I can try to treat it, but it's a 50% chance that the tree won't make it. So I was the president of the association here for the townhouses. And we told everybody, if you want your tree treated, you have to pay. Otherwise, they're going to cut them down. And the county did, but they left ours up. And this tree is amazingly beautiful. So wow. it, every year. So Well, I can't. I have oak trees in the front of my house. And they had some sort of weird thing on them where bugs actually live in it. It was weird. And I kept having them trimmed down. PG E didn't do a good job of trimming trees. I paid myself to have them really cut down and they grew back really well. And I have a I have a redwood tree in my backyard. Wow. I know. Redwood and there's somebody had two redwoods over here. So I don't know if they came with the property or someone planted, but I got a big old ass redwood tree in my backyard. I and love I love, it. I love trees. I just love right. Them. But you in the state of California, you cannot cut down an oak tree or I, or even a redwood tree without a permit. And you have to replace it. And Good. these are expensive. I know that's the way it should be. But this ash tree, I mean, what I would do is I get this long, it was a, it was a long like stick. It had holes in it. I'd hook it up to the garden hose so it could get watered underneath. So it would pull up that, uh, that stuff to kill the ash borer. And it was amazing by the next year. Oh my God. It just, it was amazing. So wow. probably one of the only people in a nearby vicinity that's got, you know, a healthy ash tree other than my neighbor, because in Cook County, we lost almost 75,000 ash trees due to ash borer. So, oh, uh, wow. Amazing. But anyway, all right. So, uh, yes, I see more trees being planted. I certainly do. Uh, Denia is her name. <laughs> right. We all need right. that. Teresa Adam, did Biden's help to call out, did Biden's help to call out truth or did it irritate more people? I don't think it irritated us, but maybe Trump's base it might have. <laughs> what? It, oh, Biden's. Oh, I see. Not Trump. Right. Biden. Right. right. No, actually, some people were happy he did that. Uh, I he, did a I did a show with Andre today. Okay. You know who does the astrology, and uh, you know uh, Trump is going down, my friend, big time. He has. Well, there's a topic I want to discuss. This is not in the questions, but I had a feeling, and by the way, you nailed this one about that grand master or special master or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a bad feeling that that she was going to say yes because she belongs to the Federalist Society. Well, correct. Okay. But also, I think Trump appointed a lot of those federal attorneys, especially in Florida, who were his cronies because he knew, he knew that if he ever went to court for something, he could finagle it and they would rule in his favor. That's or at least he hoped because the Supreme Court has turned on him several times and those are all his people. Yeah, but I'm talking about these, these like in the Southern District of Florida, this yeah. Eileen Cannon. Yeah, and but what, they'll fight this to the Supreme Court. You watch and he'll, he'll lose. Well, that's what I was going to ask because uh, this Eileen Cannon, now they said they picked her randomly, but my guide showed me that there was a little hanky panky in the way that they, they were supposed to do it like at random, but that didn't happen. There was some behind the scenes string pulling to get her appointed as a judge in this case. Yeah, she's from Columbia. But she's also, and she's also uh, the federal district court of Southern Florida. Southern District Court. Well, who's and you know the Bar Association? She got okay by the Senate, by the way. She what? She I was know. yeah, but the Bar Association said she wasn't worthy. She wasn't uh, experienced enough, and she didn't follow the law. No, uh, and they said she was selected randomly, but I don't believe that. My guide say no, she was not. Um, and. The thing is, is she's given this this grand master that's going to be appointed all all this broad expanse of powers. And the other thing that's bothering me is um, she's allowing Trump team to give her a list of the names for the special grand master. I'm like, wait a minute. That's like letting the bank robber watch the bank. Yeah. But what I see is I see her decision being upheld and it'll be overturned in higher courts. 
but the Trump team did it because they knew that she was on their side and that it was a stall tactic. <laughs> That's yeah. What I'm picking up. Now, what do you well, they have? They also can indict him. Yes. In someplace. I don't know where they said. And that will kick whatever she says right out. Correct. What do you think is going to happen? Should I look? Yeah, I see an appeal coming, but they're just doing it to they're just doing it to buy time like they always yeah. do. But this I think after this, this this judge is dogma. I mean, she's like Oh, I somebody uh Joy, somebody on MSNBC said, unfortunately, she's ruined her career. She did. And yeah. you know, I don't know how you take a judge off the court, but be sanctioned because what she, the decision she made was illegal. She doesn't know what it's one or two things. Either she doesn't know what she's doing or she does. And she, no, the Federalist Society called her up and told her what she was supposed to do. And she exactly. did what she exactly. And that's exactly what I was going to say, that somebody, Trump's team, somebody called somebody and that somebody called her. <laughs> Said you need to do it this way. And there will be proof of that at some point. <laughs> All that things to know. Tell me what's going to happen with the, what's it called? The master? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, hold on. Grand master or? Master. Master uh, of ceremonies. Um, special master. Special master. And I've never heard of that. I've never heard of it. It's a stall technique. And she was even kind of hem hawing about, um, well, uh, you know, about executive privilege, that's already been clear. There is a president of the United States. He said no. And the Supreme Court told Trump no. I pulled the ace of hearts, which would mean uh, it means distrust of her acquaintances who are going to come forward. There'll be a challenge. I'm sorry. There'll be a challenge. Okay. Here's a judge. It's a male judge. Oh, oh my God, they're going to take him down. They're going to take him down. Um, but yeah, this this is not going to last very long. Six days, six weeks. When I ask about this judge, I pull the ace of hearts. And what it means is um, there are going to people be people coming forward uh, that are going to really tell what happened behind the scenes against her. And it's not going to be pretty. So, um, you know, her now people have a huge distrust of her. And the behind the scenes stuff is going to come more and more. There's going to be some whistleblowers there to tell what actually happened. Oh, there's whistleblowers already. This is why they even got some of this stuff. And let me tell you, I was talking to Andre today, and I believe I've told, uh, you know, our, our peoples out there that he has caused some death or something with uh, intel in Europe. No, but and I'm words out that he that he gave away classified information. He and did. they found an oligarch in the United States with classified information. I rest my case. But I'm talking about whistleblowers that will come forward against this judge and talk about how she was advised certain things that in that I won't say influence, but the cause her to decide what she did. Well, that's that would be unusual because the federal society keeps it real hush hush. I'm telling you, somebody's going to come forward. I see. Okay. It. My guides okay. are, mark my words on that one. Okay. All right. So from your mouth to God's ears. Just like when you said you saw Trump being held for treason. I yeah. remember that. And I thought, what was she smoking? <laughs> oh, and you know, my cousin wrote me last night, my cousin Steph. And she said, Linda, in a 2018 video, you said when Trump comes out of office, he was still in office when I said this, I, I saw blood on his hands. Well, here we go. So this Trump, her career, this Trump, this judge's career is down. Uh, it's over, baby. Now, Maggie Brooks, we just kind of answered it. She goes, will any of these, the national security, uh, CIA or Department of Defense make any announcements telling of damage to the national security in a report or in person explaining safely what Trump did ahead of the GOJ. Of course, they've already they've already come forward. Yeah, right. Exactly. And it was and you're right. It was a lot of damage. That's what my guides tell me. I mean, behind the scenes, there were people trembling at what Trump did. 
that's how that's the stuff that he's well i know people that within his own organization might even be secret service said this guy's just too lax lackluster he's just giving away stuff i think somebody's gonna go after him well i'm telling you jay, jay edgar hoover was in office right now he'd already be gone right because he's a danger to the united states of america for entertainment purposes only for entertainment purposes only um, let me entertain you what did you do with the money uh, what money the money your mother gave you for singing lessons <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't quit your day job girl yeah right i can't sing either but you did a good job okay. oh, what are you talking i'm not really singing oh, i oh. used to do musicals really yeah i did musicals i've done all, uh, some singing but yeah but I ain't saying I'm a singer. singer. I'm a really I'm good loud. Dancer. I'm loud. I'm a really good dancer. So when, when I would try to sing and dance, I would say, Mel, just move your lips, but do your dance. <laughs> okay. I used to do voiceovers. That was fun. Okay, Renee Smith. Will Trump be charged? I got one ahead of you. I used to be a hooker. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Just... Like 10 Wait, cent... you you and I are doing this, you know. Oh, I I used to be a hooker, shoot. 10 cents a dance, that's all they pay me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, tried, call a hoe. I tried being a hooker once and I went out and I had and I came home and I was all beat up. And I told one of my friends, I said, how much did you make? And I said, $25 and 25 cents. And my friend said, who gave you the quarter? And I said, they all did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the first time I heard that one. <laughs> There we go. How's your okay. eyes doing, by the way? Uh, I went to the clinic and they gave me some cortisone drops to put in there. And so they're a lot better. Yeah. Uh, I love those glasses, though. Thanks. They look to, they look like Bill Barr. But... Not really. Oh, good. You look I... ed educated. But... There you go. How's that? There you go. Okay, Renee Smith, we've answered this. Will Trump be charged with treason? Yes, I saw him being charged with treason. So do I. Okay. Ooh, is Putin killing the oligarchs? Yes. The answer is yes. Absolutely <laughs> yes. Those well, they're not really. They just accidentally fall out windows. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, they thought they could fly. Yeah. Um, ooh, I just pulled a Trump, I just pulled a card on Trump when it said, Well, he be charged with treason. And I got the ten of clubs, and that means illness and death. So I don't wish him harm or anything, but I'm telling you, something's not. They're right. also going to hit him in his money house. Right. Something else. There's so many things coming up on him. I had a vision of Mar-a-Lago and I just saw it crumbling. Just yeah. Crumbling. I mean, that was like not literal, but figuratively. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all going to crumble. Okay. I love it. I love it. Me too, girlfriend. Kathy Green. Will Charles Booker become Kentucky's next senator? I didn't look at that, but Charles Booker. Char uh, Charles Booker. There's a chance that Marjorie Taylor Greene's going to lose. Um, I see her gone. And yeah, you know, there's a guy that's running that I guess everybody's liking I on the Democratic her, side. I see her with a boatload, a boatload of legal issues. And I'll tell you else who, who else is going to. Charles be Booker has the magic to win. Yay! Good. Uh, ooh, it's hard for me to read on it because I'm from Kentucky, but I I'm a Kentucky Colonel, by the way. Uh, a Kentucky what? A Kentucky Colonel. And uh, in order to be a Colonel, you have to do something for the good of the state of Kentucky, and somebody has to nominate you, and then they decide if you're a Colonel or not, and it's appointed by the governor. And my mom was a Colonel. My sister was a Colonel. My dad was a Colonel. I set up Special Olympics when I was in uh, in college and day programs for people who had uh, intellectual disability. And so that's how I got to be a colonel. But you have to do something for the good of the state of Kentucky. So it's look it up. Uh, Bob I'll Hope look it up. A, Is that the only state that does that? Yes. Bob Hope was a Kentucky colonel. You know, like Colonel Sanders. That's how he got his name, because he was a Kentucky colonel. Oh, wow. It's a really high honor. Yeah, geez, they should give me Lieutenant, cor Lieutenant Corporal, Corporal Lieutenant Grindle. So you can call me, my middle name is Conrad, 
Colonel Melvin Conrad. I know a real Colonel. You, you know, a real Kentucky Colonel right now. Did you ever have Kentucky Fried Chicken when it first came out? Well, of course, there used to be a place on Preston Highway in Louisville. And it was called Colonel Sanders Chicken. And we used to go there and that chicken was not like now. Oh my God, it was to die for. I know, I, that's seasonings and everything. Oh, it was great. And then what else did you have with the chicken? Was there mashed potatoes and gravy good? Mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, they biscuits? Have, they didn't have biscuits in those days, I don't think. Coleslaw? Uh, they had coleslaw, but you know, we didn't eat their coleslaw because ours is better. <laughs> oh, really? Because I thought their coleslaw was delish. I'll give you my recipe for coleslaw. Okay. Uh, I use it with mayonnaise and apple cider. Oh, apple cider vinegar. Okay, that sounds good. All righty. All right. Uh, human generic, I like that, ask, is the Republican Party losing voters right now because all of these revelations of Trump's criminal behavior? My guides tell me they're lose, that they're losing a few, but what's really going to turn the tide is this whole Roe v. Wade thing. And women are. Oh, yes, I've been talking about that. Yeah. Women are registering in droves at a Republican yeah. vote. So. Just today on Nicole Wallace, some guy read off the numbers, and it's almost like 20% per state of women. Um, wow. All right. Are you ready for another one? Yes. Adrian E. Hi, Mel. I love both of you, both of you and Linda. Thank you, Adrian. We love you too. Is the National Rifle Association out of the picture now? as far as being able to fund the repubes and is that what they've been and is that why they've been having funding issues yeah they're bro they're broke they've been broke and they're looking bad right now because they, Russia's not giving them any more money no and they're looking bad right now because after that last shooting you know in Uvalde it didn't fare too well it didn't fare too well for the NRA that's for sure right i see them bankrupt at some point yeah, well, that guy, Pepe Le Pew. Yes. He spent all their damn money on suits and he thought he was king for a day. Uh, that's right. Uh, you know, I think that there was entertainment purposes only some embezzlement going on there. And uh, that's going to be proven, actually. Well, you know, um, uh, they was just on the news. They were talking about it. Uh, what's his face? Was it Ron, Ron Johnson? Is in charge of the Republican money and it's gone. They're broke. Well, he's going to be indicted for that too. Where did it go? My guides just gave me that. But he had already been in trouble for welfare fraud, and they made him chief of of finance. So what? It, they're idiots. You know, if a Democrat or independent done one iota of what oh they did, they would they would have been. Oh my God, in jail already. And well, I said, what if President Obama took home some classified information oh to his God. house and, tr and Trump came in office? He would already be up for execution. Well, look at Lindsey Graham Cracker, who's like, every time they ask him about the election in Georgia or they ask him about Trump and his documents, well, Hillary Clinton had a server in her basement or a hidden server. Excuse me, she didn't take classified, classified information. She didn't give our secrets to the Saudis and then pass it on to Putin for yeah. political favor and money. Yeah. And that'll be proven at some point. They know a lot more behind the scenes of what they're doing. Oh, uh, Merrick Garland, I could feel vibrationally. There is so much like, I don't think we as Americans could handle it. It's so much information. It's so bad. And they are piecing it together due to complaints on the field, due to the intel. And they're trying to protect their people, but they are, I'm going to tell you right now, they're furious with Trump. They're furious for putting other lives in danger. They're furious for him talking trash. That's why they're thinking of taking him now. You know, I thought maybe after the midterms he would be taken. Who was it said, no, it'll be before. Maybe it was, I think Sterling said before, and I hope he's right because I feel an urgency from them like let's shut this guy up you know here's what i think or what my guide showed me my light bulb went on i love that light bulb. you do the side take i get the light bulb right okay so merrick garland i think when he probably found out that eileen cannon loose eileen loose cannon that's her new name 
you know, was going to do what she was going to do, they're already planning to bring charges against Trump in another court. Oh. Fe another federal court uh, as we speak. All yeah. right. So, you know, they know Trump's game, but they're going to beat Trump. At, they're going to beat Trump at Trump's own game. Wow. I, that's what I'm being told. The other thing is I ask about, you know, all the illegal money and and stuff Trump has been taken. And I pulled the eight of diamonds, which is a death card. And then I pulled the three of diamonds, which is about money. And it's like money being lost. So it means a death of his empire, a death of his money. <laughs> right, Trump. right. So he's going to end up losing. That's, that hurts him the most. Correct. But it's interesting. He's talking on his true social or whatever that thing is. And they need to put me, they need to put me back in office immediately. This guy's a whack job. What if you... we had if we had voting today, no joke. If if, if let's say President Biden says fair enough, let's the whole nation let's vote today. Biden would still win. He would. And there's going to be more coming out because I see. They're going to find out where some of those documents are. Um, Ooh. So, some of the ones that aren't, weren't in their folder? Correct. And I see he's going to have to leave Mar-a-Lago, and I see his name coming down off all those buildings, specifically the one here in Chicago, thank God. Yeah. And my guides are telling me that the American people, the biggest majority of the American people, will divorce themselves from Trump. Um. You know, Lindsey Graham keeps spouting off, but you know what? He's going to lose, too. But these people, they think like Trump, Lindsey Graham, all those, um, McCarthy, they think that that nothing's going to happen to them. Jim Jordan. Yeah, that's right. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, 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 Marco Rubio. He said, oh, it's just a, a what was he saying? It was just a, a slight from. Some, it's no biggie. This is nothing. Yeah, well, hello. That's I'll tell you, if it, if it been, look how they're going on about Hillary. That's right. Well, they're, because you know what? That was like 2016. It's old story already. Give it up. You know, uh, but those names I mentioned, they're going to be in deep doo-doo. Lindsey Graham is going to, he is such a chameleon. And I know. I see him just being political. Trump, Trump and Putin have something really big on him. They do. And he's yeah. going to be he's going to be crucified politically. You watch. And it's not because I know he's homosexual. I know he is. There's no crime in that. It's what he does. That's really perverted that they know about. Well, if he were the only gay man on the planet, I wouldn't give him a second look. I'd go straight. Right. No, but it's it, you know, I think initially he'd hide, maybe his mom was against it. I don't know. But I've heard a rumor to young boy that type of stuff about him well there's a lot that's going to come out about him and 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 i think what they do is they got him over the coals they really do um they do they got him by a certain part of the anatomy and they're going to squeeze hard How i mean this is the same guy that says if we vote for trump we are going to get what's coming <laughs> right yeah <laughs> but yeah He's going to be oh. under indictment in Georgia. So. Oh, real quick, real quick. Got to tell you something real quick. I know Oz is going to lose, okay? Oh, he will. I'm not worried about that. But did you hear it. what happened? No. He got interviewed, and they said, if you were a senator or a congressman or whatever, would you have voted to go ahead and do Biden, make Biden president? He said yes. Wow. So you know Trump is furious now. Well, Trump will turn against him, just like yeah. Trump. He'll just, say, don't vote for him. Just like Trump turned against Bill Barr. Trump, oh, yeah. he was so great, and I can't stand him because Barr said something Trump didn't like, and it's so predictable. It really yeah. is. Yeah. You but, know? oh, my God, President Biden called us uh, fascists. Oh, you called us communists. Well, they are fascists. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> if the shoe fits. Okay. Um I got, okay, Jane Bardwell. Hi, Mel and Linda, love you both. Thank you, Jane. Please tell us what will happen to Josh Howley, the fist-pumping senator on January 6th. Um, so 
I see Josh Halley being a lot of hot water too. And at some point, oh, I me too. Elected. Me too. All right. This is this, this is a really good one. Uh, Kathy Price wants to know. This is good. Trump announced on TV the other night that he was supporting the insurrectionists financially. Is he truly doing this or just buying off those who have dirt on him? I think he's doing it, actually. Yeah. I know he is. My guides say yes. <laughs> hey, breaking news. What? Mike Pope Pompeo is speaking out against the special mar masters for Trump and Mar-a-Lago. The dam is breaking. You know, isn't it crazy? Oh, when you said that, here again, my psychic light bulb went on. I got cold chills. Pompeo's going to come and tell the January 6th commission a bunch of stuff. And you know yeah. what I saw? Behind closed doors, he's meeting with the DOJ and talking to Merrick, Gar Merrick Garland about stuff he knows. Whoa. Because he knows some of those documents and he knew what was in them. And he's going to Yeah, be and also I think Pompeo, you know, he wants to run for president. I think he's going to try to get off the mega train because listen to this new news. President Biden has offered a compromise to tens of millions of Republican voters who don't want to abandon their democracy. He said, let's work together and destroy the MAGA movement. The MAGA movement will be destroyed at some part. It's right. But listen, did you know this is no joke, right? You know who they want the special master to be? Who? Either either um, Ginny Thomas, <laughs> Giuliani, <laughs> or there was another one, a third one. Giuliani can't be. He can't practice law. Jenny Thomas? No. Well, you know what? I see. Do you think they're going to appeal this? I feel they're going to appeal it. I think that the, that uh, the DLJ is going to win the appeal. What do you pick up? Oh, d definitely. Okay. Definitely. Um, grab this one. Um, oh, that I just, did I read that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um. Uh, Francis Finn wants to know, do you think Donald Trump had brokers that were selling the classified documents of various countries? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, isn't it funny that whenever we do this at night, there's always breaking news. The last Oh time my God, I'm I, I keep this app open. So when it flashes, I say, Oh, look know, at I this, look at this. I Usually it's Friday. I can see you looking at it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rose Smith. Oh, this is a good one. We were just talking about it. Uh, she says, I can't stand Jim Jordan. Me neither. Well, will justice come, that makes three of us. Will justice come knocking on his door? I want him to get his just rewards. Thank you. Both. I just got a flash. Yes. I see him having to testify. I see him being put for perjury. He's gonna, they're gonna get him for insurrection. He's part of the group. Yay. He's part of the group. Well, when Trump announced that he was supporting the insurrectionists financially, don't you think that's an admission that he was trying to overthrow the government? So that can't go. I mean, don't his lawyers tell him to shut up? <laughs> I mean, hey, can you just, put me on pause for one second? He, he just told on himself. Right. Trump always tells on himself, but he knows that they, but he knows right now people are saying, why hasn't he been arrested? Because, you know, the DOJ has to follow the rule of law. First exactly. of all, you've got to have something. And they know a lot more too. He's got to be indicted by a grand jury. Then there has to be a case. And trust me, they're building numerous cases against Trump. Right. All right. Time yeah. out for a minute. Okay. Time out. Hold on just a second. Hi, everybody. We're back. Um, technical glitch, but we got it okay. Uh, while we were on that break, um, anyway, Linda, isn't it crazy that whenever we do this, there's always breaking news? And Linda just told me that they're launching a movement to remove Cannon from the bench. So I Let's guess look. the question is, will they be successful? Will she be? Yeah, they're, they're doing it based on egregious conduct for interfering with uh, Donald Trump's, for trying to interfere with Donald Trump. Uh, investigation. Well, if she lets 
his team pick a, 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 a master, whatever you want to call it. I always get it uh, mixed. Up. Yeah, and they want Jenny Thomas or Rudy Giuliani and... Well, if, if, if she lets them pick a special master, it shouldn't be that way. It should no. be, okay, no, here's a list of names. But I see a review and I see, I think it's three judges. I see them saying she shouldn't have taken the case in the first place. She shouldn't have. They, and that's what Glenn Kirshner said. She should not Thank have. You. Thank so you. What I'm seeing is appeal, but it's going to take a while, but they'll, they'll try to expedite it. And I see a change of venue. She's going to be taken off that case. And then Trump's going to be like, oh, they rigged it. Da, 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 da. But I don't see her being the judge that long on this case. I, and, yeah, and somebody just said that Trump has has posted 36 times today on his true social. About what? Oh, just he's going crazy. He's cray cray. I know. Uh, so good. But I'm telling you, I see judicial review and I see her sanctioned. Awesome. So, OK, here's a good one. I got a good one. Are you ready? Jenny W., will Brazil ever stop destruction of the rainforest? You know, we worry about Brazil. We worry about all of that. But what about what we're doing to the environment here at home? Mm -hmm. We need to concentrate on the way we're raping the environment here. <laughs> right, right. Well, that's not the question she's saying. <laughs> I know. I get she's that. Saying, and I, I think Sterling and I got that question, or somebody did. Not too long ago. And I saw them replanting trees. I see them replanting trees. And I also see legislation being passed. So they can't, uh, I call it rape the land as they're doing. <laughs> but this is actually within Brazil. Brazil will handle this. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Brazil. Okay. Beth Maggie, a young lady Democrat, Sydney Hovis, is running against Republican Pat Stefano. In, North, in southwestern Pennsylvania, will she pull off a win in November? What's her name? Uh, Sydney Hovis. And what is she running for? She's running against Republican Pat Stefano in southwestern Pennsylvania. I don't know what she's running for, but it says, will she pull off a win in November? I'm not seeing it. I'm not either. But at least it got her name out there. Yeah, but also, you know, it's something underhanded is why they win. Right. Hey, I got more breaking news. What, 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 what? A breaking. A judge orders Fox News to immediately start handing over incriminating text messages and emails to Smartomatic voting machine company in Smartmatic's massive 2.7 billion lawsuit against Fox for, Fox for spreading Trump's big lie. You and I had said that they were going to have several lawsuits for uh -huh. the life they told. And These here lawsuits is. are part of what's going to take Fox down. That's why CNN is trying to turn into another Fox News. I don't think CNN will, though. They got rid of uh, Anderson. They got rid of Anderson Cooper? And put in a Trumpster in there. What? They're getting rid of everybody. They're trying to turn into Fox. Somebody bought them, and it's a right-winger. Oh, but you know what's going to happen? Then people will stop watching CNN. Oh yeah, their 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 ratings are so low. Who owned it? Rupert Murdoch? No. Who owned? No, Ru Rupert Murdoch is the one that owns Fox News. Yeah, but, but who they're going to get their asses sued off. And that Janine, whatever, oh, the top yeah. executive said, please get her to shut up and quit talking about that the voting was a fraud. But who owned CNN before? I forget. Who did, who Gary? Owned it? I don't remember who owned it before. Yeah, Gary just told me. I can't hear what you said, Gear. Ted, Ted Turner started it. Oh, that's right. And it used to be the place to go back in the day. CNN was huge. I didn't know they got rid of Anderson. They Cooper. got rid of Anderson Cooper and replacing him with some right wing crazy man. You know what? I'll bet MSNBC picks him up. What do you want to think? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Wow. You know what, Linda? Their ratings are going to go down the tube. And here's what I see for CNN. My guides show me they're going to have major financial problems. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. 
It's just like the NRA. They're going to go through hell too. Um, I'm feeling like CNN now because they're what they're doing. My guides are telling me it's going to be a huge, huge um, financial loss to them. Huge. What do you think? Oh, huge. I wonder. I didn't know that. I they're going to win that lawsuit. They're going to win that lawsuit. Oh, I know about Fox, but I'm talking about CNN now. Oh, CNN. CNN is just going to wither in the wind. They'll go back to the way they were before. Wow. Yeah. I don't wonder if Anderson Cooper is going to go over to. I just read it this morning that he was replaced by somebody else. I got a funny feeling he might go over to um, NBC. Maybe, but and I see him doing specials like he's real good with specials. Yeah, but I still see him as an anchor somewhere. Wow. And they didn't say why they got rid of him? No. Whoa. Well, that's frightening. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, okay. Hold on a minute. Um. Oh, wow. What? Hold on a minute. Okay, so Michelle Grande says that uh, there's these people in the MAGA movement that are holding up black flags. And basically what that means is um, it's about getting rid of those people who oppose their views. Uh, and also the Democrats are the enemy. Um, you know, she goes on to say they they really want a civil war and attempt another coup. And I just heard that 13 states are really agreeing with, you know, trying to pull away. Um, so it's it's very frightening to me. Um, yeah, but there's not that. It's not as big as you think it is. I know. But we're just, you know what? The news loves, like we're having a heat wave. We've had heat waves before, but... You can't turn on the news without them talking about the heat wave. And we've had them before. Right. Not maybe not this bad, but we've had them before. And it's just like with this insurrection and the civil war and all that. Let me tell you, they start up. First of all, the Confederates had money to build an army. This group doesn't have the capacity to do that. So our military will go in and pretty much take them over. Wow, I'm still I'm still twirling about CNN. <laughs> um, you know, it was funny. I told my husband a long, long time ago. I CNN is getting really, really a bit conservative. He goes, "I don't think so," and here we are. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But here, yeah, CNN used to be the place to go. But here again, I hate to keep being redundant, but I just see them in a lot of financial trouble, and you know. But back to Fox News, the people that are filing that lawsuit are going to win because you and I predicted that. And the same is right. going to happen at CNN. You, you mark my words. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. Celeste Jamerson wants to know. She said she loves the show. She's been seeing alarming reports about Bolsonaro wanting to stage a coup in Brazil. She says, will he be stopped? Yep. I see him stopped. Oh, I didn't see a good outcome. You didn't? So you think there's going to be a coup d'etat? I heard the word, and for entertainment purposes only, assassination. With Of him? Uh -huh. Oh, so then he will try a coup, but he'll get assassinated. He can try it, but somebody's going to take him out. Okay. All right. I saw it I, just now as clear as day. Because when she asked that, I got cold chills and I said, and my guy said he will be stopped. So they didn't say how. Right, right. <laughs> he filled in the sentence. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. Uh, okay. This one I've already. We talked about CNN. Okay. Um, Jillian Faring wants to know why we haven't heard anything from Roger Stone lately, because I think they told him to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> I think he's really, he's a Virgo. Oh, yeah. And, you know, he knows. I think he told Bannon that they were both going to jail. 
Right. Well, Bannon will go to jail. And Bannon just couldn't keep his mouth shut, and he's still barking and ter- ter- acting all holy roller. He's going. Yeah, in. well, he's going to meet his well Waterloo. By the by, by it's the way, it's not just with um failing to show up for a subpoena. He's going down because of his talking about January six. He's part of the committee. Uh, right. By the way, bless you on that sneeze. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, somebody says, hello, dynamic duo. <laughs> Linda's dynamic, not me. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a good question. Actually, it's kind of like something from 1984, uh, the, 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 the book. She said, do you see a time we would no longer have a government as we know it? Will the leaders be more one world type of government where there will be no separation from other countries? I don't see that. I don't no, see a well, full government. I don't see that. Eckhart Tolle talks about the ego and how it has to be in a state of resistance, especially male egos. When women start taking over, maybe we could calm down a little. But well, the, look what just happened in Great Britain. Uh, yes. Who? Well, what do you think of that lady who took? Uh, jump? Is she? Uh, somebody said she's just as bad as him. I don't think she's going to be as bad as him. Oh, but, good. You know, I don't know how long she's elected to power. But I see the social Democrats or people that are more liberal at some point winning a lot of parliamentary seats. And okay. I think that's the way it works there. They elect their parliamentarians and then that they vote according to the party that wins as to who they're going to have as prime minister. And okay. I think it's the same in Canada. But I don't see her in power for a super duper long time. Okay. Uh, I see I see changes coming in the parliament in Great Britain. I see it becoming more liberal. Yeah, and you know, um, Johnson really thought he could just walk over this. He really thought he wasn't going to go, and he had to go. Well, he he resigned, but you know, he took the time to set it up so he could put, you know, somebody that he he wanted the or the, you know, convince the parliament to put somebody, you know, as in, in place as prime minister. But I just see yeah. her. I see her as interim. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a good one. Lorraine Trotter. She says, for entertainment purposes only. Hey, Lorraine. Hi. Uh, I asked this on Linda's channel, but maybe she just didn't get to it. Well, we get so many questions. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, I've got over 300 here. (laughs) Wow. And also, I get hundreds and hundreds of emails. I can't just, I can't go through them. I can't answer them all. And I hire somebody to help me. Oh, good. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. Okay, after the former guy is convicted, see him in a house arrest, not prison due to logistics with Secret Service of prison. Do you think he might try to leave his plane by his own hand? I don't know what that means. I got that a couple of weeks ago, but would like to know if either of you see that as possible. I don't see that. How could he, to jump out of his plane or something? I don't know. No. No, no. I, don't think that. I don't see that at all. Nope. Okay, the greener sea, this is really a good one. And I'm an advocate of education. I'm all about education. It says, what will higher education look like in the next decade or two? As schools have moved online, some professors have adapted beautifully and both students and staff alike seem to prefer to flex the pres- flexibility and convenience. Will this shift spur more changes to how we have p- traditionally been educating our youth? Uh, and I see a yes to that. Yes. Um, yeah, education is going to be real. I'm telling you, this teacher's having to pay for their own pencils is going out the door. They're really going to concentrate on getting our kids. Did you hear the scores were terrible? You know, when, I was, COVID? when I was in college, I had a professor, Dr. Albert Laird. He was all about um, education. He was all about gifted and creative. And I lectured in one of his classes as a psychic. It was kind of cool. But anyway, back in those days, it was really cool. But he said that with our education system, now this is back in the early 1970s, that we were creating a nation of mediocrity. And he's right. Mm -hmm. I think think it's an abomination when high school seniors are functionally illiterate. Exactly. Especially those of lower socioeconomic strata. So I think online teaching can reach a lot more people, but the problem is people of lower socioeconomic strata have to have internet and they have to have access to laptops. So, you know. I see them really concentrating on education and making it a priority. 
And what I see is at some point there's going to be federal legislation passed that teachers can teach what they want. If they want to teach evolution, okay. So all of this book burning, this Naziistic book burning and all that stuff. And you know what? That well, What was that one book, uh, Lord of the Flies or something? Uh, they, did, they didn't want that as a book. Do you know on Amazon it's one of the top sellers? <laughs> what about how can they ban Catcher in the Rye or To Kill a Mockingbird? Please. Those are classics. Oh, we had egos in school. Okay. Um, okay. She now De Deborah Goldlevsky wants to know. Curious about people who go to forty-five rallies. If they came out thinking his office rocker, no, they're off their rockers. That's why they go. That's why they go. But I think that he makes it look like those rallies are bigger. And I think they pay people to put behind him to hold up signs. That's what yes. Mike is telling me. Yes. And that's going to come they out. They pay, he pays a lot of those people. Right. There's that one tall black guy that's there with kind of a beard. He's right. paid every time he goes. Of course. Uh, are any more breaking news coming up? No, not right now. <laughs> I don't get this then. Oz Daniels, maybe you've heard about this. I, I haven't heard about this. What is it? What was behind the CEO of Bed Bath & Beyond jumping? Well, the company closed. I did he what does that mean? He committed suicide. Oh, oh, I got it. Um I, I he was depressed. He it was nothing to do about any Russians pushing him. He was depressed. No, I don't see that at all. I think it was just he right. I think he was very depressed. I mean, him. like there was some famous musician, singer, did a concert, loved his family, and just hung himself. Just like that at Bodine or uh, Andre, that guy, the guy, the chef. Yes. Just, just hung himself. I think people that just get this thing, and that that's it. They're out of here. You know, one of my friends, Linda Pesha, uh, she lost her son to suicide, and she wrote a book about. Uh, living with suicide but anyway and she gives them away free and so if anybody out there is thinking of suicide or uh, know someone a family member who you think is suicidal call my office and we will send you a copy of the book it's an amazing book and she's done Fantastic. some good work and people that I tell to talk like to call her Oh my goodness, she's on the phone sometimes two or three hours at a time with these people and she doesn't charge. She's just an amazing human being. So yeah, but but does um does her son talk to her? Be a her spirit son, or no? Um when she came to me the first time, I said, Who is Nick? And I said, I see like swirling water and I can't breathe. And she started crying and she said, I lost my son Nick to suicide. He jumped off a bridge. Oh my God. And so um I communicated with him, uh, but now he is at peace. He is at rest. And I said, he's telling me that you should write. And she said, I am, I'm writing this book. And I said, I want an autographed copy. And she goes, I can't give it to you before it's done. I said, okay. And so when I have clients that are thinking suicide, I have them talk to a therapist, hopefully, but also I give them a copy of the book and I have them call her. Fantastic. So, you know, they're I'm- They're really purgatory, they're purgatory is because it changes the dynamics of families. Their purgatory is feeling all the feelings she's feeling with the loss of the son, and it's miserable. Well, here's the way I look at it. You know, I look at it like this. If someone is in horrible mental pain and they haven't had any way out and they take their life to suicide, I do think they go right to the light. You know, it's almost like people who have terminal cancer or other terminal diseases. They're just miserable. There's a lot of people miserable. And they choose to end their own life. Right. Now, some do it because they want to make a statement. That's the ultimate act of narcissism. So I think those narcissists that do it, you're right. They have to feel all the pain and suffering. But other people that are just broken and damaged by the system and that are, just can't deal with the pain anymore. And don't know how to reach out. Correct. I think is a little bit different ballpark there. So yeah. I think each case is individual, really, you know? Okay. Yeah. One of the guys who trained my dog, um, I picked up, he was suicidal and I begged him to see somebody. And I even told him, if you, if you do, what makes you think that you're not going to carry this over on the other side? And, uh, you know, uh, he, he lost his life to suicide. Cool. 
And, and I, another friend of mine lost her life to suicide years ago. And uh, I had a family member who tried it a couple, two or three times and almost succeeded. And I remember calling the suicide hotline and talking to a counselor because I was afraid to mention it to this family member because I was afraid it might trigger them. And I swear this guy I talked to was a guardian angel. He said, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. Yeah. And, you know, don't be afraid to trigger. You just have to tell him of the tsunami effect is going to create for those who left behind. And the other thing, it's not over. A Correct. lot of them are shocked. They're hoping that they're just dead nothing no you keep going <laughs> correct so anyway all right jb wants to know hi mel and linda will the dims gain at least two more seats in the senate to render mansion and cinema powerless will the dims gain what will the dims gain at least two more seats in the senate to render mansion and cinema powerless yes okay Yay. Absolutely. 100% guaranteed. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Do we have my time back? To... My back's starting to hurt. We're probably Mine too. Do you have any questions at all? No, you, I just gave you uh, uh, news breaks and you had so many questions. I'll let you do it. I'll be, I'll do the questions next Monday. All right. Well, I'll have plenty more next Monday. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm well breaking news. Let's see what happens with Pompeo. I'm telling you, my guy show me behind closed doors. He's writing stuff down and he's telling Garland a lot of the crap that happened. Wow. And I'll tell you who else talked to Garland. And I saw it as clear as day. Uh, um, I just went blank. What's his name? The the old attorney general. Barr. Oh, Barr. Yeah. Oh, Bill Barr. I saw him sitting down talking to talking to him, telling him, you know, this happened and that happened. And but he did that to save his butt. Oh, that's what he's doing now for sure. You know, so he doesn't but he's trying to get on the good side of the train before it crashes. Exactly. So what words can we leave the people that this uh Aileen Cannon, the loose cannon, <laughs> I uh, you know, I don't, well, I see it's not, it's a nothing burger. It's just going to filter out. Somehow I see three judges say, sitting at, at t t uh, you know, high up. It's not the Supreme court. And I'm saying, I hear them saying, you know, you had no right to even, I'm almost feeling uh, she's, you see the DOJ is supposed to give their response about this special master. And I'm almost feeling the DOJ immediately cha challenges her authority on this. And I see them filing an appeal. And yeah. I think the three judges panel you're seeing will be an appellate panel to okay. see. That's what I'm picking up. Right. And then, um, you know, they'll overturn her ruling. Yeah. Uh, and I see it going through really quickly. If it goes as high as the Supreme Court, they're, you know, the Supreme Court will refuse to hear it. So that means yeah. they'll hold up the, direct, the the decision of the lower court. There you go. Um, so, and CNN, you know, it bothers me, what? but at some point they're going to take huge financial losses. Yeah, big time. So is Fox News. You got it. Well, I, you and I had both predicted there were going to be a lot of lawsuits against Fox because of the lies. Is that Italian, what you're doing right there? Yes. And here we are. There you go. There you go. All right, sweetie. It has All right, my sweetie. Fun. You take care. Next Monday. Next Monday, everybody, on my show. Aloha. Aloha. Oh, my gorilla trip is still open. So if you want to oh, go. Oh, yeah. You can, people got to sign up. Give me a call. 847-90541. Yeah. And thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Oh, happy birthday, dear. Well, it's not till Saturday. But... I know, but early birthday. Thank you. But thank you. You know, people say, where you go? What are you doing to celebrate? I said, keeping my ass in a chair and watching TV. <laughs> what I like to do. There you go. Oh, is that cute? Who did that? Yeah. She, Who did she did that? A good job. It's uh, one of my, one of my people's KD, KDS. Great job. Oh, I want a t-shirt with that. Kathy D. Sal Salvi. She's wonderful. Did you hear what I said? What? I want to teach. Oh, I didn't think of that. I don't know how I do it, though. Let me ask uh, 
my son's girlfriend, she makes t-shirts. She get made me a cute t-shirt with uh, pink and not pink and with I Lulu gotta, and Jack. I gotta talk to her. Okay. All right. All right, sweetie. I'll call you. She's a student. Time. She can use the money. Okay, I'll call you right when we're done. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Stay Here well. You. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Bye.